First, it was Fidelity Investments, and now J.P. Morgan Chase Investment Management, the nation's biggest bank, now hedging its bets and selling off its holding of U.S. government bonds that are scheduled to come due between October 17th and November 6th, around the time of that threatened debt ceiling limit about one week from today. And amid those signs, tentative though they were, of progress that the White House and Congress may be nearer to a deal on raising the debt limit and hence averting a possible government default, yields on Treasury bills tumbled today. They dropped for the first time in six days. Until today, rising yields signaled fears that Uncle Sam might not pay its short-term obligations on time. One reason why we did report yesterday that the big fund company Fidelity said it was no longer holding any U.S. government debt set to come due over the next couple of weeks. Now, that short-term debt is what you find in money market funds. So how safe are the funds that most Americans consider as rock-solid as cash? Sharon Epperson takes a look. The ongoing debt ceiling debate has many investors concerned about what a government default would mean for their money. I'm worried about interest rates uh, for the real estate market and what would happen to my 401k. Oh, I'm worried. I'm on Social Security and they're starting to threaten that also. I have to pay my bills and likewise, the government has to pay their bills. Some are even worried about investments like money market mutual funds that are typically considered very safe. Money market funds invest in ultra short term debt, including U.S. Treasuries, and historically generate more interest than a money market deposit account or high yield savings account at a bank. That makes these funds attractive to many investors who've invested nearly $2.7 trillion in these funds. But if Congress fails to reach a deal and the Treasury Department faces a technical default or worse, runs out of money, some fund managers don't want to be holding on to government debt that can't be repaid. Money funds are very sensitive to headline risk. They'd rather say we don't have any of that, uh, that certain date that, that may come under question or may have a delay in payments. The nation's largest manager of money market mutual funds, Fidelity Investments, is taking precautionary steps by not owning any Treasury securities that mature in late October or early November. To be safe, it's increased the amount of cash in U.S. Treasury funds. Today, J.P. Morgan followed suit. But another big money market fund manager, Federated Investors, says it continues to hold Treasury securities that will mature in the coming weeks. It's confident that they represent no threat to the liquidity or stability of the portfolio. Federated, like many on Wall Street, believes at the end of the day there will be a resolution. And even if it takes a few weeks, the Treasury will pay its debt. There may be a technical default. There may be a game of chicken here played over the next week, two weeks, perhaps even three weeks. Uh, but investors in Treasury money funds are going to get their money, going to get 100 cents on a dollar. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Advice to anxious investors? Sit tight. Don't overreact to the headlines. Financial advisors say nine times out of ten, doing nothing is the best answer. And this is one of those times. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Sharon Epperson.